We are back at DGF Engineering in Royston because they bought another Dugard machine. We've been here before to talk about the Dugard 1000, the SMEC 2000 SL, but they've actually bought a smaller machine this time. So we're going to talk to Liam and find out why. Liam. Hello. You bought a smaller machine. We did. Why? Uh, space for one reason in our shop we didn't have a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of room the machine it replaced was only a small footprint machine so we didn't really want to go any bigger um, you know some of the work we do is quite small components so we didn't need a big footprint big bed machine like the thousand so this one just seemed to tickle the boxes and fit in where we wanted it so talking about the work you do what sort of work do you do here at DJF and what sort of industries do you work in? I mean, we do everything. We're a subcontractor, so we, um, we would machine anything. But our main sort of industry in is sort of the scientific um, sort of liquid and gas testing industries. Um, but then we do, you know, we do stuff for the farmers down the road or, you know, whoever comes in and wants a job done, we do try and fit them in and do. Now, obviously, if you're working for all these different companies and industries, you must work with a variety of materials. Yeah, yeah. So... Obviously, you've been cutting aluminium today, but we spoke earlier and you, you cut t stainless as well. Yeah. So how does this machine handle stainless? Yeah, really well. Yeah, really, really well. It's, um, it's a strong machine. You know, it's got a nice, powerful 10,000 RPM spindle on it. You know, the horsepower is good. It will just cut all day long. So I've got to ask, why another dual guard? Because you've, you've, you've got two, well, so obviously it must be something. Well, that's it. I mean, the first two really impressed with the service and everything, as always, has been great. We were looking, um, the machine it replaced was just getting a bit old for us, really. The spindle was only 6,000. It just wasn't really how machining how we wanted it to. So the first place to go was Dugard and see what they had. And the 550 just ticked all the boxes. So come on then, let's get a bit in depth. How long did it take this machine to come from when you ordered it? Uh, oh, uh, probably within weeks to be honest within weeks I think they had it as a stock model um, on their shop floor so yeah the minute we were interested in it paid the deposit and it was ours and then it was just a factor of sorting out stuff here to get it here and placed and I've got to ask did they find you straight away because I've been here before and even I got lost again <laughs> yeah this morning. no Dino the driver he knows where he's coming now so yeah no all really good all straight like to say they they delivered this, took the old one away, and they recited another machine for us, and they were done and dusted within an hour and a half. So we can't, uh, can't <laughs> knock that at all. Can't argue with that, can you? Not really a, a big dent in production. No, no, not at all, which is the main thing. You know, they understand that. Dugard as a company, they understand that, you know, you've got to make money. So the downtime, you're losing money. So they do everything as quick as they can for you. So they're really, really happy. Now, you're not programming these on the machine. No. You're using offline cam system yeah so how is this machine took to that system really well yeah really really well the um there's a, a post for the machines so you haven't got to do change anything like that straight away post it and away you go there's no tweaking no nothing it's all great you can't argue with that can you no not at all so just one last question before they get back to work mist extraction you didn't have these last time we came no but a dual guard one i've never seen a dual guard one before so how did that come about? So we were talking again when buying this machine. Um, we've been talking for a little while about mist extraction. Do we need it? Do we get it? And again, it, it just came to the point where we thought, well, let's be compliant. Let's go full in and go. And we spoke to Dugard and they said, we can get them for you. Um, so this one came fitted with the unit already on. So they fitted it down there. And then they came and retrofitted the others for us again. The next day, I think after delivery, they were here to fit those onto the other machines. So overall, I know your answer, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Overall, you must be you must be through the roof with all the. Oh, absolutely, yeah, 100%. Couldn't couldn't fault it. Anyone I know who's looking for machinery or wants to upgrade, I always say do guard first because there's they've not done anything wrong for us personally. That you know everything is there's nothing that's too much trouble. They will help you out as much as they can.